Welcome back to the Enduring Aesthetics Podcast, guys. Glad to have you here. This week we've got a really interesting story Clint pulled out of nowhere. He got some very rare footage that I'm excited to show you guys. Clint, why don't you start us off and tell us how you found what you found. Yeah, sure. So um, I was reading Bill Pearl's autobiography, and he's got a pretty good chapter in there about Arthur Jones and how they met and their dealings through the years. Uh, as you know, Arthur was a really interesting guy. We should probably do a podcast or two just on him in the future and Nautilus and everything like that. Um, but uh, basically what their first meeting was Arthur came to Bill Pearl's gym in 1958, introduced himself to Bill and said that he was um, wanting to cast Bill as a zombie in this new movie that he had written and was gonna produce called Voodoo Swap. Um, had you heard of this movie or knew that Bill did any acting before I brought this to your attention? No, I had no idea. The only video footage I've ever seen of Bill is like contest footage very sparingly and then some footage of him like posing outdoors but nothing in character or movies or anything like that. Right, yeah and this is, um, Again, you know, without reading his biography, I have no idea about it either. Um, so it looks like they filmed this around 1958, 1959. According to IMDb, um, they have the date as the movie coming out is 1962. Um, I have no idea if that's right or not. It may have took Arthur a long time to finally get it in theaters. Um, Mm -hmm. It's really... Did it actually get released? Did it actually get released and go into theaters? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, there's so little information about this movie out there. I mean, I went to YouTube. I went to Google. Um, couldn't find a thing on it except for this IMDb page. Um, it's really thinly rated. I think right now it's got about 11 reviews to it. Um, I think the average rating is like 2.6 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> Which and, is reasonable and, after having seen it. Yeah, yeah, we both yeah. watched the movie in full. I, I think it's a little over an hour long. Um, it's pretty poorly made. The scenes um, overlap each other. The sound dubbing is horrible. Um, Awful, yeah. And um, Bill Pearl, as you know, plays this zombie, but he's not really dressed like a zombie or has any makeup to make you think he's a zombie. He just looks like a bodybuilder <laughs> who grunts and groans and um, goes after people and kills them and things like that. It's pretty interesting. But the, the clips of him are, are awesome to see him um, at that stage of his bodybuilding career. I mean, he looked great in the movie as, as far as, um, you know, um, aesthetic-wise and proportions mm -hmm. and everything mm -hmm. like that. So, so if this was filmed in 1958, you said? Yeah, I think um, around 58, 59. I, I'm not sure. Would this be, would this be then like close to or at Bill Pearl's peak? Like, when would you say Bill Pearl's peak as a bodybuilder would be? I think that he considered his peak to be the 71 uh, Mr. Universe um, when he was 41 years old, and. Oh, wow. And vegan. So quite a time afterwards. Yeah, and vegan as well. He had been vegan for two or three years um, at the time. Or, or maybe not vegan, vegetarian. Um, mm -hmm. And, uh, but, um, yeah, I mean, he looked pretty pretty dang good in the movie. So, um, so this is earlier on in his career. Right, yeah. He first started competing in bodybuilding contests in 1953, I believe. So this was five or six years after that, and he had won um, several contests, uh, Mr. America, Mr. Universe, things like that. So he was he was firmly on the bodybuilding map at that time, um, which is why Arthur Jones um, went after him, you know. Um, he, yeah, yeah. He probably, he probably was the most well-known and famous bodybuilder at that time, and so that's why Arthur Jones showed up at his gym one day in 1958 and told him, you're going to play my zombie in this movie. And, um, they worked out a, a deal and, um, and then Bill traveled down to Louisiana to, to film the movie, which was a whole experience in himself, according to his 
uh, autobiography. You know, Arthur, um, he would drive, drive them all around and Arthur would keep the windows up and just chain smoke. And, uh, Bill, Mm -hmm. Bill talks about how horrible that was and how Arthur could literally survive just on his cigarettes and drinking Coke and things like that. And, and he'd only get them like bologna sandwiches and, and Bill, and Bill Pearl would say that, you know, I'm on this bodybuilding diet. These bologna sandwiches aren't going to, aren't going to do it for me. Um, yeah. And, and it sounds like, sounds like there were lots of, there was lots of trouble on the set. And, um, yeah, from the pages that you sent me, uh, that go over kind of the movie and how it was filmed and all, I'm surprised they even got the movie done because yeah. at one point it was talking about how Bill was there filming one of the scenes inside of the mansion with the producer right. in there. Right. Uh, or the director, I guess, and he's chain smoking as well and throwing the butts on the ground <laughs> on the marble floor and right. and Bill comes out and, and hits him in the face. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah <laughs> so he, I'm like, how 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 did they even continue <laughs> on? Yeah, he told he told him to quit uh, quit putting the the cigarette butts out on the antique furniture and quit you know putting them out on the marble floor and stuff like that and and I guess the the I don't know if it was a cameraman or producer or whoever it was, but they didn't listen. And, um, it sounds like they definitely paid for it for sure. So, um, yeah, it, yeah, I, it sounds like <laughs> Bill, um, did not have a very good time making this movie. And, um, I hope, no, not at all. I hope whatever Arthur paid him was worth it. Although I would think today, if we talked to Bill, he would probably say that it was not worth it. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so here's a few clips from that movie for you guys. Clint was lucky enough to find a copy of a very obscure horror film on DVD that actually had the original Voodoo Swamp movie in that DVD as extras and sent me a copy. So thank you for that, Clint. These are some very rare, awesome clips of Bill, and we'd love to share it with you guys. So check this out.
We hope you guys enjoyed seeing those clips. Hope you guys enjoyed the story of Bill Pearl's movie. As you can tell, we started a new channel for Enduring Aesthetics podcast, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any new upcoming episodes. Give us a like if you did like the video, and make sure to comment below what you'd like to see in the future. Thanks so much for watching, guys.